Hey guys, Nintendo fan here, and I finally beat Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. Oh yeah, but that does mean there are some hard stars in the game that test my patience. Only counting stars are from the 15 main courses. Stars have to get the original way and no 100 coin stars, so no room to ride. Sorry guys. Just to keep in mind that this is my very first top 10. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So here we have a number 10 is Tiny Huge Island Red Coins, or Wiggler's Red Coins. This is the fifth star on the course. So you have to be small Mario to go through the small archway in the beginning of the level. Go to the Koopa Troopa to take a shout. Go up the mountain and kill the Goomba and walk on the ski and stick to the cave. It's best to use Mario Cave. And that is part one. Part two is collecting the rare coins. Most of these coins are easy to get. One coin is above the star marker, but it's easy if you know how to wall jump. And there's one coin that makes it start on this list. The one near the blue coin. So you have to make a perfect jump to the ledge or you fall down and repeat the star. Once you collect the red coin, the star is easier to get if you use the top grade. This star is somewhat challenging, but there are others that are that are way harder. Yep, the first star in Snowman Land is the hardest one in the world. So you go through the land surrounded by the freezing pond and make a triple jump to where the moving platforms or a backflip. Everything, everything else is easy jumps until the ice bridge. One, wait for the penguin to get to you. Two, backflip on the penguin's head. Three, wait for the penguin to walk across the bridge and jump at the right moment. Do not mess up. If you do, not only you get blown off, but your hat off your head. And you better look for it because you will take more damage without it, making the star harder than the previous one because the star teases you. This star would have been better if this number would never have blown us off the mountain. Number 8 on our list is Wet Dry World Red Coins, or Go for Town for Red Coins. This is the fifth star on the level, so you have to go underground by raising the water level or use the cannon. Once you're in the town, drain all the water to collect the coins. Some of these coins are somewhat easy, while others are just in stupid places, force you to wall jump just to replace it. Lakitu is a really stupid cameraman, but I don't blame Nintendo because this is, this is the first 3D game ever and they're learning the process of good camera controls, but that's why the star is on this list, the camera and wall jumping in the wall jump mechanic. But collecting the star is not hard, just two edge grabs and, and that's it. Cool, cool Mountain has the best stars to collect. Slide down the indoor slide and race a penguin down one. Take a lost baby penguin to its mother. Take a snowball to its body and wall jump to the star. Even though this star can be a pain, but not hard. All of them are painless, are, are painless except for its red coins or frosty slide for eight red coins. Despite being the four star in the course, this one is also the hardest. The main problem is how they spread the coins out. Some coins are painlessly easy, a few coins are between corners near the edge, but the coin near the ice block is so hard to get off ones collecting it. Most of the time I die just sliding off just to get to safe land. After collecting the, all the coins, you have to long jump over the bridge to the start. If you mess up, you slide down to the coin I just talked about. Good lord. You knew that a TikTok clock star is going to be on this list. The fifth one. So you climb on TikTok clock until you reach a heave -ho. Go through the spinning heart platform with the elevating platform over the pole you just came from. Then you have to jump at the right turn to the platform. Keep going until you see moving bars in and out of the wall. Perfectly jump on them and go in into the cage to get your star. Tickle clock is one problem. And the same with moving bars. You have to time your jumps. If you made a mistake, either do it again because you're right there. But then again, it's a time star. What makes you under pressure. 
Tall Tall Mountain has some stupid jumps teaching you platform skills, especially the third star with the red coins. Scary shrooms, red coins. Just the coins on the mushrooms are not hard. Same with the marshmallow section. Sure, it takes a longer time to get to them, but it's not hard. The, pro the main problem is collecting the star. Why? Because like a two never learned how to operate a camera, and there are cheap death that are not my fault. I wish you can just edge grab the mushroom just to make this star easier, but it gets to the point where it's not fun anymore. Now we're going to the star that just breaks me down mentally and makes me quit gaming for a while. Shifting Sandlands Red Coins or Free Flying for 8 Red Coins is the fifth star on the level. You collect coins. The first one is behind where you start. Just go slow and it's easy. Another one is in the box under the star marker. There's a coin in the oasis and one in the maze. But going into the sky, Wing Mario can't control properly and you have to make a perfect jump to fly or you just waste your wing cap. After you collect the coins, the star is on stone structure, which is not hard if you start the wing cap. <sighs> Blast of the Lonely Mushroom is the last story in Tall Time Mountain. So you talk to the bomb bomb under the wooden bridge, teleport using the smallest mushroom, walk across the edge to the cannon and fire to the star. This star is so stupid with this method, but that's the intended way. It would be easier if we could use the fly guy. Now we're going to the star that just makes me rage. Tricky Triangles is the fifth star in Rainbow Ride. You know, it's surprising that a Rainbow Ride star is number two on this list, and it's the only one on this list. If that makes sense. So, it's the same route as swinging in the breeze, but you keep going straight until you reach a purple switch. Once you activate it, you have to book it since the time limit is tight. One one mess up and you have to start from the purple switch. This star is straight up trash. Number one is stomp on the swamp. Problem number one, you climb up the tippy top of tick clock clock. Problem number two, waiting for the clock hand. Problem number three, triple dump at the right moment on the throne to get the star. One mess up before the oh, dang it. Yeah, down, I don't, why would down, I? Down. Yep, these three reasons, three reasons alone makes this star number one on this list. To be fair, this is one of the last levels in the game. But these stars just test my patience. If you don't believe me, play the game for yourself. I promise you, some of these stars will not be easy on your first try. So with that, hope you all have a great day. Please subscribe, comment down below, tell me what is the hardest star in Super Mario 64 and why? Leave a like. I hope I can make a top 10 series and I hope I can start a Wave Race 64 later on. Until next time, peace.